With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, if hydrogen gas is heated to a very high temperature, then the fraction of energy possessed by gas molecules corresponding to, let's say, rotational motion is. So, we can say here, the average kinetic energy corresponding to rotational motion or translation motion or we can say here, our vibrational motion will be given by the formula for, let's say, one molecule is equal to as F by 2 into K into T. Now, here it says, at very high temperature, that means, we can say here, there will be translational, rotational as well as vibrational degrees of freedom activated for hydrogen gas. Now, since hydrogen gas here is our diatomic, hence the degrees of freedom corresponding to translational will be 3, rotational will be 2 and vibrational will be 2. Hence, the net degrees of freedom will be equal to, let's say 7 and corresponding to rotational degrees of freedom will be 2. So, here we can say fraction corresponding to rotational motion means here we can say as energy corresponding to rotational divided by net total, let's say average kinetic energy. So, here this comes as, let's say temperature is constant, K is constant. So, we can see here, this average kinetic energy is proportional to degree of freedom. So, we can say here, corresponding to rotational degrees of freedom divided by net degrees of freedom. So, corresponding to rotational degrees of freedom, we have as 2 and net degrees of freedom, we have as 7. So, 2 by 7 means we can say here, option number 2 is the correct answer. So, we can say here, the fraction of energy possessed by gas molecules corresponding to rotational motion is 2 by 7, which is option number 2. As 2 is the correct answer. So, 2 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.